like, how does he break the news that your sperm's well, no, not well, active? It, it was getting better. Well, he goes he like this. He goes. Hey. Well, he so he didn't. Well, the first, he could, you have to go to. So he, he went in and went. He just pulled his shirt and went. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the top ten reasons you're not gonna have a baby. Yeah. Number ten. One more time. Hey, got any gum? Uh, uh, top ten reasons. Number nine. The good news is you have great <laughs> mucus. Number eight. We, <laughs> Doc, are the cue cards and necessary? Then, Who knows? The number, one, the number one reason you're not gonna baby your husband doesn't want to. <laughs> you're listening to the Dear Buddies podcast. You will grow from boys into men. Whatever, dude. What does that look? Don't get weird on me. Hey, buddy. For all those questions you can't bring yourself to ask your friends, ask your buddies. Hey buddies, welcome back to the Dear Buddies podcast. It's a big one. We're pumped. We have our we have a very special guest coming in. Uh this first of all, I don't know why I'm the only one talking right now. It feels like everyone's just staring at me. Yeah, it is weird uh, when you talk first. I don't like the way when do I interrupt him? At any point. When do I tell him uh, he's wrong? We've got a fun one. We have a guest this episode we're very pumped about. Uh, not only is she, um, and I'm, I I will say this now because we're on camera, and I mean this. I need you to know I'm not just saying this with a camera. Probably one of the best comedians in New York, and it it's upsetting that everyone else doesn't realize that. Uh, she also just recorded her first one-woman show called Inconceivable. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is makes her the perfect guest for this topic of this episode. Uh, which we're calling Baby Fever, because her one-woman show is all about her, you trying to get pregnant. This is true. And uh, Casey Balsham, everybody, welcome. Round yeah. of applause. Oh, huh? what a time. Oh, we got an applause oh, from Luca. This don't is like great. being Thank nice to our much. friends. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we give it all this stuff. I want to be like... Mean to me, though. Do you I not know, like it because you're not nice to anybody? Is that why? I, it's because, yeah... Scopo's yeah. Scopo's very nice behind closed doors when it's one on one. One on yeah, one. Yeah, one on one. The second you left Sorry, today, Scopo. he was so kind to me. Was he? No. <laughs> but no, I did apologize to him. I did, he did. I did apologize to him. I, I, I freaked out a little bit. Yeah, that's actually that's growth. That's 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 building yourself up a little bit and understanding you have value. I well, don't tell society that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike He's got a reputation. Mike usually wrong about a lot of things, oh, a ton of things. The intro spot on Casey, one hey, of the funniest. Um, She's the best. Uh, I was at the show, inconceivable. It it was awesome. It was funny. It was. I learned a lot. Uh, the things I did learn, or I remembered m more than other things, mm -hmm. uh, didn't make sense. So hopefully you're yeah. here here to clear things up yeah it's a wild process none none piss is what i remember the most <laughs> yep. so i don't I remember know the new year's yep. uh, yes yeah, that, so. that came out of left field and not see that one coming no 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 yeah in it's... my bingo card none piss was not there <laughs> <laughs> not there I don't at think all it's that anybody when you learn what what actually goes on because obviously uh i i'm not just trying to have a baby the the fun way uh, we're doing it with science, so which is stealing cool. one from actually, a foreign country. Yeah, That's the fun way. I'm buying. I'm buying one from <laughs> Wait, China. None piss isn't fun. Is that what so you're it well well he, so I'm doing so IVF is you know a process that we're doing where you have to inject a bunch of hormones into your body. And one of the things that I I talk about in my show that Alex is referring to is that one of the hormones that ladies have to inject when they're going through an egg retrieval process, which is you know when you when you take a bunch of stuff and the doctor fattens your your ovaries literally just get stuffed to the gills with eggs. So you're like bloated. They're like touching in your body and they're not supposed to. It's making me hungry. Out. It's like <laughs> piles it's of eggs. Like, it's <laughs> like literally when you guys saw me on New Year's Eve, I had had one that morning. So I, I was can't like, believe you hung out. You like, Put a party on on New Year's Eve, and you you had just got. You did like, crash like twelve fifteen, and I go, oh, Bolton's not having a good day. I can tell. No, Bolton well, likes also, to have a good time. Well, I, go also, at night. I know, because I wanted to have a glass. I was like, well, now that the eggs are out, can I have a glass of wine? But I was having a histamine reaction to the propofol, which, by the way, I will get my eggs out eighty five times because they put you under each time, and I love that. Nap. Yeah. I love that. Nap. I fucking I love the propofol nap. Yeah. Like, I love how many give you good drugs. I'm like, go before slowly. She, before they, they go put her slowly. out. Before they put her out, she goes, don't tell Robbie. 
No, he's in the room. He's in, oh yeah, no, that's what I would do. No, that's what I would do when I go on party. Every time we get drugs together, goes, don't tell Robbie. Don't tell Robbie. We'd be in the bathroom. He'd have a key to my nose. I'd be like, shh. Don't tell Robbie. Anyway, I never told Robbie. I'm ready to be a mom now. But you know what's the craziest part is that I would always go home and tell Robbie and be like, I did go. And he'd be like, go to sleep. Like, I, I can't. I just told you. Yeah. I can't. I was like, don't you understand how this works? He's like, no, because I'm not a degenerate. Um, <laughs> well, based so, on that story, knowing yeah. you for as long as I have, I I find it inconceivable that you will be a mother. Uh, so it's got I, it's a two meaning kind of title. If you talk to a lot of the people I knew when I lived in Hawaii, they'd be like, oh, the one that would run around at 5 a.m. with wings on, hot tub <laughs> jumping in a hotel. That's me. Um, uh, but so basically, so you had to take a bunch of drugs. So we're, we're at the point now where yeah, it's science. There's no fun. There's like, it, it, you know what's so the ironic part about when you get to the science part? There's so many different things that get done to your hoo-ha that like you can't even have sex. <laughs> because like, it's like, you have to wait 10 days from after that and then you can't do it while you've got the stuff in there because you can't get pregnant obviously during that time not that I would because obviously we have not been able to but like it is oh just, is there something wrong like if you get pre if you like well, are you doing like, it and then you get pregnant do, like the natural way while you're doing this is that like well when you're on like <sighs> when you're shooting all the hormones that would just like completely fuck everything up like they make you take a pregnancy test before you start the hormones uh, to be like you can't be pregnant if you're going to be shooting yourself because if you're pregnant you take a bunch of hormones you're just going to end up with the whole as a baby it's just, it's just it's, I don't know what will happen but it, probably a few arms oh, your kid will like, play the probably Major League a lot. Baseball that's a bad thing <laughs> yeah I don't think your kid comes out as Barry Bonds so like I, I think I he's that's 500 foot home runs that's a great kid I think you know, this bad. baby's got striations in his well, shoulders before <laughs> 97 on the flat what are you talking about here before we get into I think the yeah before the we process, like the, the process we just want to talk about like and then I'll tell you the nun piss Chris the yeah. nun yeah. piss but, yeah. is in the when we get into yeah, it yeah, oh and then by the way stick around for the end of this episode because we're gonna we're gonna do a quiz uh, Becca put together a trivia, a picture quiz of is this a uh, name the feminine product? So she made a bunch of, took a bunch of images that are like baby Definitely. and pregnancy related. Fun. And we have to get, you probably know them. Okay. But we're going to have to guess like, is it a, like a, a lady part tool or just a regular like. Perfect. To, like drill. <laughs> so we have a, a slideshow yeah, coming up for that. tampons get confused with drills. <laughs> Muffin and home well, people being is... like, am I in my period or am I about to screw in a door? <laughs> am I in my period or am I building a deck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it's not, I don't think it's that simple. Gotcha. It's It's mostly like, Pregnancy, OBGYN related I'm gonna type win. of stuff. Definitely. Oh, are you? I got it. Right. Why, Just Chris? like last week. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm interested to see how much you guys know. Go ahead. We're, we're, no, uh, so like wanting children. Yes. Okay. I'm. At, we're at the age now, I think. We're all at the age where our friends are having kids. We're and fucking old, dude. We're, we're, well, you know, we're there. Um, <laughs> but I don't, I, I want it. I want it child a mm -hmm. kid that was really but, tough for you to say yeah, I know. man he was really but it's, but but that's a struggle that real guy that we have like we were talking today trying to figure this out go ahead but it's not like i i'm the only kid right so yeah. my parents want a grandkid and yeah. i i'm the only one who can give it to them right so i think like a lot of the reason i want to have a kid is for that and that's a dumb reason to have a kid but it's not really though because you're continuing your family so it's not really. It, it's not what like are you this. About? This family needs this guy. Yeah, Pavone. These are these baby? fucking bad. Yeah. These are I'm like these are jeans. I'm, I'm like a little therapy dog. Yeah, <laughs> as no, a human. But I, mean, but I but I also like. Are you gonna having... have a Pomeranian come out? <laughs> A little chihuahua. Um, <laughs> thank no. you for the cultural uh, uh, thank accuracy. Thank you so much. I mean, come on. He's a little brown. Um, <laughs> Mexican. So. I also don't think I knew that you were an only child. I am. Yeah, yeah. It makes total sense. He's very selfish. I get it. No, he's not selfish. I just didn't, I I, like, I, I'm like the kinetic energy. Like, I could imagine you just, I can't imagine your energy just being alone when you when you were a child. Mm -hmm. He just made like, his just friend. Bouncing off the walls. Bet $300 because yes. he wants to watch a game with him tonight. That's very, that's selfish. I think that's more of a gambling problem than an only child problem, but whatever. it's a combination <laughs> of the two. Regardless. Uh, what, but there's, what, there, yeah, guys what, have bad reasons. Like, we, yeah. we were trying to figure out, we, we spent a lot of time prepping for this, thinking like, why do we, what makes men want to have kids versus what makes women want to have kids? And I just, I, I couldn't come up with a real answer. Yeah, I think I wanted science, to have. science, baby. Yeah, it but is, is it right? It's not, yeah, it's it's very natural. Like, because for men, it's just not a thing. Like, women, our bodies are, li it's the reason we have hips. Like, our bodies, this is why they were made. Like, everything in our body was to make a child. And not saying that, like, everyone has to, because there's a lot of people now making the choice not to. A lot of women, and it's like, good. But, like, they're. It, it, it's in us 
You know what I mean? And for men, I think it's very natural. Like you hear about a lot of men, they don't even, even sometimes after they have the kid, it still takes them like a year or two to connect with their child. And that's actually. That's rough. It's normal though. When you see <laughs> a kid that looks bad. half like you, you're like, ugh, I don't even like it. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're bad. Like, <laughs> My buddy just had a baby and he was like, he, I go, was it love at first sight? Because that's what you hear. No, not, and not, I, I, not I, I, he, he goes, he goes, I'm still struggling to see if this is even my child. He's like, because I know it is, but he's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Like, is, yeah. is what is this thing? I just got to make sure it doesn't die every day. Yeah. Like, it's it's a very strange That's thing. But it is, I don't want that pressure. Yeah, it is. I mean, because when you, it is, I think, harder for men. I think women, and but some women have the same reaction to it. Sometimes it takes them a minute to connect with, like, the baby when they're in, like, the itty-bitty stage. Sure. Um, but, like, I think for a lot of women, because you physically grow it inside of your person, if you are doing that and not using, like, a, a carrier or a surrogate or something like that, you are, you feel connected because you're like, you were part, you were inside of me. And like, I think that's a different level of connection for, than you would ever feel. And for 10 months, right? About 10, yeah. I, my whole life, thought it was nine. Well, Researching, I go, it's most, 10 is like a normal it's not nine months. It's uh, nine, no. but the way that they count pregnancy is that basically Wait, they, once you're <laughs> pregnant, they give you an extra two weeks. So it's, it's wild. Like, if I were to get, they still count pregnancy based on a period. Um, so it's like, it's like, even if I were to get pregnant, if you get pregnant naturally, this is why the six weeks thing and the Texas thing is all fucked up because at four weeks pregnant, you're really just finding out that you're pregnant, but technically you're four weeks pregnant. Uh, you're so the guy going, a, what are we doing? It's, so it's, it's like, it's like <laughs> technically it's back from your period. So if you get pregnant this day, you're still this many pregnants. So like you get pregnant two weeks after your period, it's still like two weeks okay. pregnant. Okay, so there's, it's they a technicality. It based on the cycle. Yeah, yeah, I, And um. I think that's why, but I actually don't. Like this is just, I, I recently only just found out that they, when you're pregnant, they give you you still you have like a plus of like two weeks when was the breakdown from when as a woman in general not necessarily like now going through what you're going through but because we spend our entire men spend our entire lives for the most part just desperately trying not to get somebody pregnant and i imagine women yeah. you probably spend a lot of time like on different birth control methods and this and that trying not to get pregnant like and the funniest part do is you it's look not easy <laughs> it's like not easy to get pregnant i have like, nightmares about getting someone pregnant honestly I, take the condom off stop taking the pill you can't fucking there's 30 <laughs> days a year there are 30 days a year that you can fucking get pregnant i mean some people obviously have their fertility windows and if you have zero problems as a woman and you have zero problems with your sperm sperm as a man and you're having sex with in the two and a half day period during the month when everything's coming together yes you can be worried but like fucking honestly and at our age like your sperm goes down the eggs go down like it's not that fucking easy to get pregnant as we were led to you hear believe. that skanks take off the condom all right <laughs> listen <laughs> slut 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 Just slut it up you but it's like but this is what's so like i mean i feel like the fact that girls are put on the pill when they're fucking 15 yeah it, it seems it's crazy hormones. it's crazy See, my friend's it, on the pill because it's, it's terrible someone was wrong with her period or something like that but she That's doesn't get her period anymore yeah Oh, no, she spoke girly to me. I forgot. You're supposed but. to get your yeah. <laughs> spoke girly to me. It yeah. regulates the period. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. So when was the flip? Like, when did you just like? Because now you're like super actively, obviously trying to get pregnant. Do you? Was there like a moment when you went, "I want to start getting pregnant now"? That then, like, was there a, a day when like baby fever hit? When you were like, N I need to now is when I Robbie need to get a writing to job. I mean, yeah, the minute yep. he started making money, I was like, let's lock no, it the fuck but down. But seriously, is there is um, there like is there a, is there like a reason? Because like the rationale of a guy is yeah. like, I need to have this much money. I need to have this many bedrooms. I need to have I like know. a best savings too. account. And you'll never have that. Here's the thing: that's never right. going to be the never. right time. No, You're that's never, yeah, that's I mean, what they guys, say. That's the problem. I want a five bedroom mansion, and that's never going to happen for me. So. But you, you you need a one bedroom at this point. Yeah, you don't have. <laughs> you're living in a studio. Yeah, you you don't have any bedrooms, yeah. buddy. You're, That's why I like my studio. They're all one bedroom. Your son, buddy, right get, the living room. get a wall. You need another wall, bro. Your son's five bedrooms off from any sort of dream. Uh, so yeah, yeah if you That's multiply great. it by however many bedrooms you want, you're still gonna catch zero. You think it? You think uh, because of like Instagram and all that stuff, it, it makes it's been it's tougher on girls now because they're seeing like. F friends have babies, cousins have oh, babies, enemies everybody's having babies. Yeah, has it, do you have an enemy that had a kid? Everybody that gets pregnant is my enemy. <laughs> 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 if they're if you're pregnant right now, you can fuck it. <laughs> croak and die i could give a shit i don't it's so funny for somebody that's like oh i want to i want to like educate women on ivf i still could i still am not happy when anybody gets pregnant it's very it's like it's literally can you show been, us the face of, uh, that you make like if you in it's just it, tears <laughs> it's just it, it's, it's like it's in so person funny. though like if i was your a female friend of yours and i said i'm pregnant 
He has the tits for it. That's the, okay. Calm down. <laughs> I have the tits for after. I'd be like, oh my god. Um, are you sure? Uh. <laughs> and then I'd be like, how far? And then I'd be like, and then and then I would kick him. Um, no, but I don't know. Uh, um, I yeah, I'm mad at everybody that's pregnant, and because it, it's just so tough. Like, cause you know, my my journey, my jur- I fucking don't make me say journeys. <laughs> you, uh, you, my, you almost, almost did on your own. Say your piece, okay? Say your my piece. My experience <laughs> has lasted you. about four years. But to to answer Holy. your question before, I there was never a moment where I, I remember when we first. When he first shot a load in me, but it was actually the Halloween. That I remember I, that. I was gonna, sweet buddies. I was, was it? Yeah, I was, gonna, I was, gonna, I was gonna say. So I remember funny. that because I saw you like four days later. You're like, I got fucked up. Robbie came in me. Yeah. <laughs> I literally, I literally. It's like the first time though you do try, but but I I had wanted kids since I was little, so it was never like a moment. It was like I always knew I wanted kids. Like I've been naming my kids for fucking ever. But that first night, it like, it will, when the first time like Robbie came in me, I remember like the next morning, I was like, should I take a test? It's like, you forget how science works. It's like, no, you won't know for, you know, a couple, you still Weeks. need, yeah, you need some HCG yeah, so and you and stuff like that. But it is so funny. I was like, should I take a test today? Should I take a test tomorrow? <laughs> should I take a test today? So do you think that was the and first like, actual moment when you consciously went, that's when Kids? we started try. That's when like I actually I even as fucked up as it was like I was kind of like lying in bed with my eyes wide awake, being like, "Oh my god!" Because <laughs> she was about- on cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> I was also on cocaine. Yeah. But I was like, life your baby, is co- your baby comes out. Milk, milk now, milk now. Know, milk, milk. What's his name? Blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Escobar. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. How are you? <laughs> yeah. No, but truly and honestly, I did. I, I was like kind of in bed, being like, "Oh my god, my life's about to change." Like we're we're really trying for this, and then fucking. It is because you. Down a lot of Four money. Years later, <laughs> yeah. So from there really? on out, you were like, "I'm like coming off birth control," or like, "What?" I hadn't, how? I hadn't been on birth control since I was 21. Oh, good for you! I right. stopped birth control cold. It's bad I, for you. It's really bad. And I also was like, when I was in college, I had come off. I had some like ADD in high school, and and um, I had taken Accutane, that pimple That's medicine. That's tough. Yeah. So I went, I went <laughs> real downhill. So I was on antidepressants then. So I cut everything off: cold turkey, antidepressants, ADD medicine, and birth control when I was in college, and just went straight Coors Light. Like that's just, I was like, this Coors Light and pull out. Just straight Coors Light will, will numb the pain. Um, and then I really, like I hadn't been on birth control since. So that, that's also like, there's part of me that's It's like, incredible ah. after saying that, knowing, yeah. hearing you say that, now knowing how perfect it is that Robbie's from Tampa. It's like the perfect combination <laughs> of people and, and personality. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 That is your soulmate. Yeah, like for sure. He's like the least Tampa person from Tampa. For sure. Who fucking loves Tampa. Yeah, I'm more from Tampa bizarre. than Robbie is. Oh, yeah. absolutely. You are yeah, all yeah. More from, I'm more from Tampa than Robbie is. Yeah, Surely anytime he. Like. Well, I think maybe that's why he was attracted to you. He's like, oh, someone from back home. Yeah, Where are you like, from? She wears Not Tampa. Flip flops in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you guys do switch. Like, you should be for, you're Tampa. He's from San Fran. I know. Yeah, he he does have he a, has, that, that's a San real? Francisco. Sorry. I'm sorry. He has a yeah. silicon. Don't say Frisco. I learned that one's the wrong Jesus. one too. <laughs> Why don't you guys get your city together first? How about that? We have. <laughs> yeah, it's run by the homeless. It's because the, be- yeah, the Democrats. True. Yeah. No, I'm sorry too much. He didn't even point to a camera. He's pointing at Luca. <laughs> You know what was funny today? Today, you Latin Jew, it's your fault. <laughs> today, I was I was driving. I got sad about Bob Saget, and then I was like going to cry, and then I was like, "This is what it feels like to be a Democrat." When he just started crying for no reason. So, mm. what does that make you? Loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't need uh, that moment to figure that one out, buddy. Yeah, yeah go home. Is there is there a feeling though, like mm-hmm. I? I because societally, we always hear about like we hear baby fever, and that's what mm-hmm. we're calling this this episode. But fever, you know, brings up these like thoughts of like sweating and feet. Like, is there like a physical feeling that because I cannot like I can't relate to it. I don't think as a guy I can relate to yeah. baby fever. And so I don't know. Like, we don't know how to act. We don't know th- the process, like yeah. how to be a good person or a good partner. What is baby fever a thing? Like, is that is it, or is yeah. it just like your natural instinct, or is there any? No, is it like? Oh yeah, it's a thing. It is. It's not like I mean, you don't. I don't think you get flushed, but I mean, just like as a woman, every month that you're not pregnant, your body lets you know. You know, you get, oh, okay. Uh, your period is because you're not pregnant. So, like, oh, you get wow. PMS. And you physically <laughs> Wait, hold get on, it. you didn't know that? <laughs> no, dude, I knew that one. Is okay? this a revelation? <laughs> no, I, ne- I never connected the dots. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, so like, women have periods? <laughs> I'm the dumb one on this podcast. This is bullshit. No, what I was, the hell was what that? What are we doing here? Was, shrooms before this episode? What the no, hell was that? I'm saying that I just realized that, like. Baby fever starts the second you're like able to have a child. This is what I'm so li- 
this is yeah. That's so insane. You are able to get pregnant. <laughs> you didn't the, know that. Shut the fuck up. You're able to get pregnant the minute you start your period. So like that's why like you do see sometimes there's 12 year olds and people like I mean a lot of times that's from you know there there's there's some other situations. I've seen a lot of there, them on TikTok. A lot of moms and daughters that are like 10 years apart. It's yeah, freaking wanna, me out. Do you want a kid to just blow up on TikTok? Um, I would. Will love, you dance with your kid? Uh, if they were a millionaire. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. I would love. Four million followers. I would. <laughs> I would love my child to be successful. I. I don't care how they make their money. Like I don't care if like, you know, they can do whatever they want. But I would like them to be very rich. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it out there. I waited long enough for you. I've spent so much money on this goddamn kid think already if, if that like it a, better get better. If you have a, a boy, he's going to be really good at getting girls because he's really good at playing hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> like he's crushing the game right now. You're, you're fucking. You're trying so hard. He's like, not today, not I this know. month, mom. I know. I you know. Take the train in the morning all you want. I ain't coming out. I, this is true. This is so. I I put that joke even in my show where I was like, this kid's gonna. Do I think this kid's gonna pick up its toys? It doesn't want to be here. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't even. He won't even be born. He's not gonna fucking clean up after. Because our first embryo that we had was a boy. So we did talk a lot about having the boy. Now we don't know. We don't. We don't have our new embryos back, so we don't know the sexes of them. But yeah, but our first when one was you, a boy. When do you take an Uber and not take the train? When's like this is an Uber? Yeah, baby. what's the process? <laughs> like, what's what the an Uber baby? Yeah, this, oh. one, this one's gonna make it. <laughs> well, we were thinking Uber, Uber black, but then we're like, I oh, hope it's Uber white. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, mm -hmm. because then it's somebody spilled the you know <laughs> the wrong peach dish. <laughs> I know. I was actually just because I was doing some research for my for for shady shit, and I was actually just um, looking up. There have been like there's been a couple instances where like this Asian couple they put two white babies in them, two white babies that weren't even related, like two completely different. So this woman gave twins to, that weren't even related to her. There was another instance where the doctor was using his semen to inseminate the eggs. That sounds about wasn't right. that a movie on Netflix? It's probably that. with the girl it's from called, Broad City. It's called JFK. Oh, is I didn't see that movie. <laughs> I think it's something like that. Ooh, really? That, that movie. something like that. Like I saw, yeah, where they switch. I saw so, a thing where a nurse on her deathbed. There was like an article where she admitted on her deathbed to switching, like. 20,000 yeah. babies at like through her whole career she just kept like switching babies name tags for fun what yeah and like all these it was wait, like this I huge need, controversy wait, yeah, we all, yeah yeah it was wild it's wild we'll look it up and put that a link in the, in the absolutely in the, sick but i'm it's, so fascinated like wow. yeah you find out your parents are fucking loaded too and then you're like <laughs> fucking bitch Honestly. Oh my god. Well, especially cuz like, you know, for how long such a process it's been for me to have a baby. If I get a kid that has no part of me in it, like I would be so fucked. Yeah. Like I'm cuz at this point it's like people are like why don't Uber you white. People are like always oh, like, like why that... don't you adopt? And I'm like that's so much harder and also so much money. But also like I want to fucking see what it, I'm like as a baby. So let, is it though? I'm is it like like adoption and stuff is like a lot of money and it's a crazy it's so process too. I know nothing. And it takes yeah. so much time. You have to be approved. They have to check your home. You have to pay. You have to like it, there's like there's so much it's that like goes into it. Like getting a dog. Yeah, it's, it's, scary. it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah. like a dog. I three shelters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what's for, the... yeah, you can't just go to a place and be like that one. Is yeah, cute. That's, <laughs> that's all you can do. Let's start at the beginning though. Let's talk okay. about the um. You you mentioned earlier the cost, and mm. I was looking up some numbers, sure. and we were very curious. Like, one, how much have you spent so far? If you don't mind sharing, and two. <laughs> If you do, if you like end up with a bank account, Jesus, Mike. <laughs> if you end you up with social next, a deep inhale from Casey. I'm just, I was just doing math. She was trying not to pass <laughs> out. She's just getting oxygen uh, in your brain. There's good see. math and there's bad math. And so, right, the temple is rub is bad. I Robbie mean, writes a lot of jokes for John Stewart <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Okay? I'm just trying to think if we're including like like the secondary stuff. Like it's the first my first transfer round, I did a bunch of acupuncture too. So that would probably be an extra like couple. I would say let's bucks. talk direct. That seems okay. like some fruit okay. shit that you decided to do on your Okay. okay, so let's so let's do so the first round of IVF that I did, and this was um, at my first clinic. So the actual egg retrieval process is fifteen grand. Besides that, egg you, retrieval process. So this, so this is just one part of so that so you it's fifteen grand. That's when they take the eggs out. Yes, of course. But, but, retrieval. But, yes. But I know what retrieval for means. that for that process you need drugs. Nothing is covered by insurance. I happen to be my first 
my first round, my doctor heavily medicated me. I spent twelve thousand dollars on drugs. Should have came to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then <laughs> hold on. No. I hate to stop you in this 12, flow. Twelve hundred. Fifteen thousand for the process and twelve thousand. How good I was is drugs? So you're twenty. You're you're twenty three thousand dollars in the hole. This is before we even have. I'm sorry. Twenty twenty seven thousand. This is before we even know what we have. And then how long yeah. are you high for with twelve grand of? No, it's this is the, the whole this is nine the non, This is the non piss. This is the this is these are the drugs that I was needing to to put to get my eggs all big and ready. So okay. this is this these are the drugs that you take. Pasteurized that eggs you, you take, might you, say. Okay. Oh. you take your eggs, yeah. Oh, this so doesn't take, knock you unconscious. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no, I, no, you I, pay I, about six hundred dollars for the anesthesiologist when he put when they put you under for the egg retrieval process. Been and an then after after that, I think it was twenty five hundred dollars or thirty five hundred dollars to get your embryos tested to get your embryos genetically tested but also to get them there there's a transfer fee so you pay like Wait, another something there tested for what so you have to get the uh, you get them genetically tested to make sure that they are normal to transfer because if they're like abnormal like we had the two embryos that were abnormal they would have just miscarried or uh -huh. if they were born they wouldn't have lived outside of the so so far that's where so i'm we're about, at about we're at about that so then the actual transfer is about five thousand oh, dollars and What's then there's it, so another round of drugs that are about twelve hundred dollars for the transfer. So you need drugs for everything. Every fucking thing. Yes. So every move you make, you're, you're, so you need drugs. So as of right now, yes. we're at thirty six around thirty six thousand dollars for one round. Yes. Yes. And then I. Now think, let me ask you this. Yeah. This kid's not going to college. Yeah. I wish I gave one. you more money for your wedding. <laughs> no, Honest you to God, I feel like I, I feel no. like I feel like I re I feel like if you would have told us this then. You would have had a much better wedding. I, I know, so and it was an incredible wedding. <laughs> so Holy that was the hell. so 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 that was the first round. So then the second, and then and then so okay. So then the and you're on how many rounds now? I just did my third egg retrieval. Good God. So um, my second round, they cut our prices in half. So we spent seventy five hundred dollars. They gave me drugs because last time <laughs> they, gave her, oh, they gave me drugs. They gave her a Groupon. They go, yes. Yeah, you've been here yes. before. Why did but they cut? Was, they cut? They cut it in half because, because of we she had a punch because, card. Because we were unsuccessful the first one. We we implanted the embryo and he didn't stick. So do, do they do that for everybody with an unsuccessful? I, I or they're so. like, I think you have they to. Like I think you. you have to not be an asshole. I mean, they always hmm. told me they're like, you're an easy patient. Um, oh, and all nice. That stuff. So my my clinic happened to cut the round, but I've heard of other clinics definitely not doing that. But also, you're kind of like, oh, if you could cut it the first time, couldn't you? <laughs> cut it all the way around. Right. You know, it feels but, like this is a. But I really, yeah. But I really did like my doctor and my nurse. But so then, then they saved a bunch of drugs for me as a wedding present. She gave me a bag of drugs, so I had that. That's hilarious. So then another six hundred fifty for the anesthesiologist to get the eggs out, and then another. <sighs> my hands are hurting. Twenty five hundred dollars for genetic testing. Genetic testing didn't work that time around. What so, does that mean? I mean, testing? there's no refund. That's the, again to make sure that they're not like they don't have like extra chromosomes or less uh, chromosomes. I love how Scopo asked the exact same question yeah. five minutes, five minutes was, later. That obviously, would have turned me away. <laughs> there was an extra probably there was probably an extra one thousand dollars in storage and transfer fees of the embryos well, to go course. to the things. Did you tell so, me you had a couple extra gigs left in your Google storage drive? <laughs> yeah, fucking, right. You could help them with? Yeah, but this. Did you tell them you taking the train here to transfer it? I know. I they would. They didn't. They didn't care. I was like, I can hold them in my own free. So we're talking th around fifty thousand dollars. There's more. So <laughs> oh, I'm gonna puke. Now my third round. This new clinic. We we're in eighteen. Um, for the first round of stuff, I think it was like eight, eighteen. What? Eighteen thousand five hundred. For. Did they cut anything for the third round? This is. I went to a new clinic, and so we started a whole different protocol. So this eighteen thousand includes the testing, and the um, includes the testing and the. Uh, the uh, anesthesia. They, they, instead of doing separate charges, they just said, "Hey, it's about eighteen thousand five hundred something like that for this whole first round." Okay. But I had some extra drugs. I had some friends who. So I only <laughs> I only spent about seven hundred dollars on drugs because you were in I a bathroom have, with a key filled yeah, with hormones. I, have, I, have I got friends. a guy. You can call me. <laughs> no <laughs> problem. Like, My it boy was Rez. like that. It's like other people being like, "I have extra. Do you want it?" And this guy had me on way less drugs. So my first round, I was taking about a box of medicine a night, and each box was like nine hundred dollars. And I was on him for like 11 days. So That's how long the process is, 11 so, days? So when you're going into egg retrieval, yeah. So you go in, 
And sometimes they put you on a pill to like put all your eggs back behind like one starting line. So you get on the pill and they like suppress it for a bit. And then when they when uh, like they decide you do like some estrogen testing and things like that, then you start doing the injections to like make the eggs grow. But they're trying to all grow at the same time so that when you take them out, they're all mature and they're all the same size because you can only fertilize a mature egg. So if it gets too big and it blows out, it's, you can't do it. Yeah. If it doesn't mature enough, with a baby you like me. It. You get a fucking <laughs> Too, too, too big, kid, and I'm not trying to push that out of my whole house. You know, hair is back too. <laughs> this kid's gonna have the small. So it's got to be the perfect size. It can't be too big, too small. I feel small. like you're it's describing. You're yeah. trying to like pitch the first person to pitch Angry Birds, the game. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and your estrogen has to be at a certain level, and so everything has to go. And then like halfway through the process, because they don't want you to ovulate. Because if you lose your eggs, then then they can't take them out. So the halfway through the process, they're making your eggs bigger, and they want to come out because it's a natural cycle. So then they, you take another shot to make them stay in there so you're taking shots to make them stay in and then when it's time you take a trigger shot and the trigger shot has to be taken at it like a precise time like i literally had to do it at gotham this cycle because he's uh -huh. like it has to be done at 10 you do it night. yourself yeah it's just a shot and then that shot you just do in your stomach and then you wait a day and then you go in like, like doing exactly. a shot and then going perform at a comedy club oh, yeah. yeah oh yeah and then it's gonna you, help your mental health it's it was <laughs> i was literally what do like, you do is there, any, is there a green room there yeah there's a green room downstairs so i just mixed up my drugs and i and i did a shot and i was literally my spot was at 10 15 and i had to take my shot at 10 so i mixed them all up right oh before and then at 10 God. I just went, bup, bup, and then i did you crush um I did fine. Yeah. <laughs> I did fine. So let me ask you this. Um, At all this, we're, yeah. we're, we're closing around $75,000. Yeah, we're up there. We're up there. We're up there. And then again, there's <sighs> oh, also... Cheapskate over um, here, Albanese. You know. I want to <laughs> ask... Acupuncture and... Um, but you that know. stuff is not necessary and to do. They Bro just Broadway recommend it. Broadway shows when you cry because well, you're not pregnant. Course, you know, things like that. Lots so what lines. happens then? And I, I'm, I'm asking this and yeah. I hope this is okay to ask. I know I, oh, yeah, I, I texted yeah. you earlier to yeah, make sure... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. All of this goes said you're on your now second round or this is your third round? I just did my third you're on your third my round right third now. egg retrieval. Yeah, the first one we had one embryo. He we put him in, he didn't stick. The second round we had two embryos, they both ended up not viable. So this round I just did we are I got thirty eggs, which right, is insane. Which is amazing. That's crazy. But I it was a different protocol. I started taking a bunch of vitamins. So this is how kind of th this is how the numbers uh they call it what is it? Is it attribute? No, attribute. This is how the numbers attribute, right? Because that means go. Attribute right? is when all of the eggs volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> pick one egg to volunteer to so go like, to go to slaughter. Go, I'll get us food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read those books. I don't read those books. But but yeah. So thirty eggs, right? So out of thirty eggs, which seems like it's a, a pretty lot. Good. It's a lot. It's, it's a big. Like it's a cartons. big. It's a big haul. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Costco. It's, yeah. This is, this is a it's Costco. Costco. Yeah, Costco's Costco now. He's stopping at Pathmark. I'm going. I'm going. I've been going to fucking Trader Joe's. I was like, we need more eggs. <laughs> um, so 30 eggs, which made 25 mature eggs. Out oh, of those wow. 20, uh, good. They're good. And out of those 25, 22 got pregnant oh, as shit. of day one. So th everything changes. So by day three, 15 were still growing and good. Yeah. And by day six, we had eight. So now we have eight that are going Where, to test. Are you on day six now? No, no they're, they're at testing. So now oh. we have about 10 more days to find out if wow, they're so genetically okay. Oh, so this shit. is like Top Gun, the best of the best of the best. Yeah, so, yeah. so, but still, the first time we had one, then we had two, now we have eight. So we have more than we've ever had, but there is still, you know, last time, like, both my embryos were bad. So, like, so we there's still, we could still lose some, but that's that's the crazy part. But that's start a lot. with 30, and I could end you up with only three You got way better chances embryos. than you yeah, had the last absolutely. two. So, so this is the hard, this is the question that I, I'm curious about, but I, you know, it's one of those ones you, you don't, what happens if this one doesn't work? Uh, yeah, that's something, like, we're all we're do kind cocaine of with me again. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get so far from the go, yeah. Status. Back in a stall well, in Hell's Kitchen at three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah don't 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 even try to convince me to relapse scopo because I think I could get him. Um, <laughs> yeah, real quick, but yeah. I was like, like none, none took. I got the bag. Let's go. I'm very convincing on partying when I need to be. You all you all know. I've, cra I've cracked a few there. doors and been like, it's daytime again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, with you right behind me. Wait, wasn't that all? No, he wasn't there. No. Okay, that, I was like, yeah, we've definitely we've seen sunlight together. Yeah, yeah, it's been once or twice. For um, sure. Smoking in bathrooms. Oh, that's uh, a good time. Three people and, uh, uh, standing on a toilet. Uh, <laughs> anyway, a good time. you're gonna be a great mom. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing. I think so because it's like I fucking I've done I've lived. You know, like yeah. well, had I had my baby at 23, I might regret. Be, I might be freaking out right now. But since I'm like fucking, yeah, you have a 16 year old that hates you. 
Yeah, no yeah, age. yeah. And, and then if they're 16 and they hate me when I'm 60, I'll be like, I'm fine, I'm tired. Like, go get out of here. You, you don't want to come now, home, go, bye. That See ya. kid would be screaming at you constantly, Mom, Trulies are for our kids. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're <laughs> our age, Mom. Yeah. Stop drinking all the white claws. <laughs> I told you, you can only eat the, uh, you can only drink the mango <laughs> Those Smoking are for old ladies. Right down here. <laughs> yeah. Shut what, up. Do you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, so what, oh, sorry, I, sorry, I, I, sorry, I didn't want to lose this train of thought. But oh, yeah. If this doesn't work. Yeah. Do, what is the next step? For, have you talked about that? And what 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 are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. So the wild I, I want process. to be a good friend. I think we all want to be good friends. And also, yeah. when we experience this for ourselves, pregnancy, things like that. Where what do you do? So the wild part about this is that obviously it's been out of pocket up until now, and in of course a, a cruel twist of fate, we get Robbie's work uh, is offering infertility insurance in oh April. Oh. So on the ch if for some reason all eight of these come back and they're all got missing chromosomes and extra chromosomes and none of them are good. Big heads. Big heads, no heads, <laughs> you get no. You <laughs> the earnest, the the earnest way you ask that makes That's what the X Men have. It, it makes me realize. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me realize this that guy comes out with adamantium. It's not a joke with him. That's awesome. Yeah. This kid rocks. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You don't get a little Wolverine by April. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you get a kid with like shrunk. Like some of the things that some of the abnormalities are like fucking wild oh, to read about. No. Yeah. So, but but hopefully that's not the case. But if something happens we could talk and possibly there's like the his insurance offers like a thirty thousand up to thirty thousand dollars wow. worth of infertility so we could do another egg retrieval but at that point you know i'm 40 so the i mean the eggs were already kind of on their last fucking you know I, i'm doing as much as i can with blueberries and vitamins but i mean <laughs> yeah i don't know i you know so we'll, we'll see kind of what these eight look like but let, let's pretend that this is the last time Let's pretend. Oh, like, 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 if this is if, if this, this is, is the, the thirty thousand, like, what happens if you if IVF doesn't work for you? Are you is is Man. adoption on the table or dogs on the table? Dogs are, are on the table. Are you gonna kill yourself with a bag of heroin? Probably. <laughs> yeah, heroin's on the table. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say heroin. Puppies Mom. are on the table. Heroin's on the table. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've, kill yourself, like kill I, yourself. But you know what I meant? Like, yeah. par go party. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've thought about it. I'm like, there's there's a chance that I would move to be closer to my nephew because, like, I mean, if that's sure. the only kid I get, then maybe I would do that. So I don't know. Like it's all just stuff that we're kind of like not thinking of, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what would happen. Like, w yeah, maybe we'd get just a hundred dogs, and I don't know. I would. Pro I would probably spiral a bit. I probably. You'd probably find me at in Hell's Kitchen at three a.m. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Just Ta text me. Talking Broadway and smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Being like, I was going to have... I was going to be a stage actress once. Yeah, I was going to bring my kids to the theater. And then and then, and then, then it's just me burning people. Yeah. <laughs> just burning people. Through. So I don't know. I don't know. But this have is you have you like put a lot of thought into that at all? Or is this more like a out of sight, out of mind? Let's be positive here, Mike. No, man. I think it's going to happen. What the hell's going on here, Mike? You have kids and you're like, what's happening? They don't work. Don't work. I don't know. Listen, tarot. I did tarot cards that showed a lot of storks and a lot of mama bears. And and I've... Going There's, to astrology show. She's uh, off oh the yeah, map. Oh yeah, this is by, she's off the rocker yeah, right now. You're off the rocker. One, one, by, the, gonna, by the third egg retrieval, I'm charging crystals. Yeah. We she's are, looking at the moon to help her. I, this 100. percent I was the, like, listen, science, science did this far, but like, I gotta. <laughs> I, we, I also gotta, you know, fucking rip out a wolf's heart or something. I gotta. <laughs> if we had our soundboard working, it would we would have hit cuckoo cuckoo right yeah. now <laughs> for the tarot. Cuckoo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the, I, I, first of all, eight is, you got a shot. You got life. It's, you got legs. It's, we got legs. No, you definitely do. You can we pull a legs. parlay with eight. You, you yeah. definitely, uh, eight's, eight's got, parlay. and then you, you move to another clinic and now there's eight. So yeah. things are looking up. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have a kid. Yeah. Let, and then what happens? How's Boyer? <laughs> can I, I know. Ask, can you ask me about Robbie? Because I'm curious to see what happens. When I, during this whole process, I felt like, because we're friends. I'm friends yeah. with you. I'm friends with Robbie. But yeah. I felt more comfortable. I'd ask you how things are, but I couldn't, I, I didn't really feel comfortable talking to you about it because it, 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 I don't know. But you should because- that, To Robbie, I would ask. Yeah. Oh, the, you know, and it, it's because it's just something weird that we don't broach as a subject. And that's like why I wanted to do my show and why like I'm fine talking about it because there's so many people doing it that like it's okay to ask. And, and because like I have to be kind of still- okay because our job requires us to stand in front of people and Which be fucking fun. clowns so it's like you know i've just i think my way of dealing with it is just kind of been channeling it through it 
through comedy and just talking about it. Yeah, I remember I we think, were going to the yeah. Mets Giant game. She kept telling me, "I'm like, is this? Am I allowed to hear this right now? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here." Which yeah, I'm a bro. I don't want to fucking fuck over Robbie. You everybody know? should hear. It. Yeah, no, I, I'm we very were even open debating with like it. today we were, as we were prepping for this. We, we were like, "Well, let's find out. Let, let's ask." And I do want to ask this: like, how yeah. how do you get like from home? To, to the office and we were like do we call it jizz do we call it cum like what do we even call like how do Spe what's the specimen yeah is, is it the sample the, 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 sample. the fluids we... I call it jizz you might call it something but he yeah. called it jizz and we were both yeah. like we can't ask her we can't say jizz to Casey but it's like it's Casey what yeah, are you talking we about couldn't. I thought we agreed it was splooge I, yeah we did yeah <laughs> splooge <laughs> is more youthful you know splooge more reminds me of something ten years ago maybe we could have splooged it up yeah, but yeah. not now but no, what's, no, no. The, what's the process of like getting the the uh, Mike is asking estimate. where Robbie for, comes. So yeah. it, for for IVF, he just comes there. Like they have a room. He that goes would there. Like, so yeah. So well, she goes like I, high five when he goes in there. So, no, I I was like you go do because because like, I they put me under and so then they take him to another room and I think there's like a TV. <laughs> That's gotta be a little they go. Your wife is now unconscious. Feel free to masturbate in our oh, facility. Yeah, yeah. That is insanity. And Robbie's like, like Robbie's like, he can really when he needs to, he can really well, turn it on. That despairs the man. No, We're no, friends no. with him too. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying not during sex, but like literally when we, because so, okay, when we had to do the IUIs, because so, so the IUIs are are the less invasive thing where you literally where you have to just you bring you take like a pill that helps your eggs fatten, and then you take something that to make them drop, and then the doctor just puts the sperm like. With like, like the, oh, it happens like, inside. Like you. a turkey, oh, it, like it looks turkey like a turkey. <laughs> that's what like the kind of joke, like a turkey baster. But it kind of looks like that. So he just shoots it past your cervix and basically shoots like sperm right around a like a big juicy. Egg. But you don't. This guy but, Steph Curry level shooting. <laughs> oh, he was shaking. He, no, he, he was, was shaking. Yeah, but I loved him. He <laughs> was <laughs> Julius Randall over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A yeah. pirate. That was, so he, he was. Kinda, He's got his claw. He was, so wait, can you hire out Steph Curry for the job, buddy? You're the only guy for this. Let's go. Shooting it from a distance he's right <laughs> hey, up in there it's probably like, from the other side of the room is aiming where's the layup but it's you're out cold throw. you're out cold <laughs> when this is happening no 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 if the IUIs IUIs you're awake you're just kind of watching the whole thing because that's just they take like a little tube and they shoot the sperm in For the, it's not as invasive it's literally shooting sperm in not taking and that's out. why okay, they don't okay. see to me so when I hear that I'm that's, going that's, that's, that's like, the non-invasive oh, part that's only $600 a pop and we did four of those so but why that's not like, why can't they and I mean this genuinely why can't you take the pill fatten the eggs and then have like intercourse they, to, some people can do that oh too. okay yeah, that's the sort people, of the same process uh, I have uh, almost friends that have gotten pregnant that way and they do tell you like so Robbie they shoot it in but then they also tell you go home and have sex while you're still all like juiced okay, okay oh okay. after even yeah. after the thing but a lot oh. of women do a lot of people if they're just having a little trouble will take this pill letrezol or sometimes they might take another version but letrezol and they have had success with that. speaking like my of letrezol this that. episode is brought to you by letrezol, letrezol. I would ask your hair will fall out and your back will get fat <laughs> 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 True, it I would definitely ask for a doctor's note, <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> or whatever. If I was the guy, I'd ask for a doctor's note for when uh, they they tell you to fuck your wife. I'm like, can you get that on uh, paper here? Hey, hey, Sorry, I can't go to work a, today. A, she, can you get that she, on letterhead? Trying to off the old uh, old lady. <laughs> I'm giving the I'm giving the wife the goods today, huh? Yeah, the science. <laughs> Gotta leave yeah. after lunch. She's on pills, hopped up She's on hormones. Get... She's crying right now. I'm gonna fuck her later. Yeah. <laughs> like, those hormones for the IU. Why we're honestly in uh, We're using the crying Lou as lube. <laughs> <laughs> She's sobbing in a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. crying. Hey, did you crying see? Did you right see? Now. Did you see the sperm before he put it in? You give him a little pep talk, like Al Pacino. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you that actually we did? So, oh, any given, any given Sunday, yeah, yeah. give him the one cheese. chance in your life, guys. Come on. Yeah, we did. We we looked at him. We because because we had to. So that that sperm when it's IVF, they need it right away. So he j jacks off in a room. But but this one, he would jack off. <laughs> we they gave us a cup and he would just jack off in our bathroom and he would just get it. He's like, I don't know, and I need to do it. I can just do it. So so then I, then that's when I literally I would have to bring it on the train with me and you have to keep it warm so i was just had a cup of cum in between my tits on, no! a, on a train just like it had a lid it was fine it was very safe not the first time you had cum in your tits that's huh? my, Come that's on. my job that's my job here. listen i'm fun. not the only person in new york to be covered in cum okay. he was waiting no to, you see scopo's way. eyes he was waiting yeah. for that one I second to go no, 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 it's a good joke no, it's you yeah. got you got cum in your cleavage and you're on the on the seven so then you bring cruising yeah so then you give it to the doctor and then he he puts it 
And then he lets you look under the microscope. So you look and you see that they're all like, ah, and you see like some are like congregating and some are like. You see these little spiders yeah, across little tadpoles? <laughs> yeah, you see them. So see who goes. So do, what do they look. do? They're, those, those, they're just as it. There's some of them like are frozen and some of them are like. Uh, like <laughs> It's like yeah. Robbie. Robbie's got a lot. Get Robbie, that one out of here. Robbie the has ones that are moving are, Jor- are Jordan's baby. They want it. They want to <laughs> yeah. attack and they want to win. Yeah, yeah. And so, so they really? like. Yeah. So you look and he'll be like, "See, there's." And we actually saw like Robbie was ended up having to be on this hormone. So we saw in the four months that we did it, like we did see some progression, some more movement because the first specimen they were like a lot of them were just like kind of twitching and then, then they, were kinda, chilling. Yeah, they were just they were fucking uninterested Tampa. They, they were d3 they, athletes they, not did good. Not, they did not want to be part of this at all so then so then <laughs> they take the, the, yeah they take the sperm and they literally put it in a machine and it just spins around really fast how's that gonna help yeah, the guys because it just it, it consolidates them and then it makes them like this tight specimen and then he takes <laughs> that and he puts a little like juice in there and he put and then he puts that in me and then, I, and then i just lie back for like 15 minutes and then i and then and then we go home and then and how does he? Say, how does the doctor say goodbye? Just give you a little tap on the old keister. Well, it, he was he was really funny. He one? was an old Jewish guy, so he really wanted to talk about comedy and all these old. I was just say, as old a, guys. I'd so be sitting there, just legs puss out, and he'd be like, <laughs> "So one time," and I was like, "Go on." As a comic, did you wanted to make jokes? As he's like, "Go inside you." Oh, we were. Oh yeah. We, oh, because he kept it. Because he, he. I mean, you guys don't know, but he, he would always. He always. He's like, God, you have such good mucus, and so me and Robbie would be like, fucking mucus queen of the world, right here. <laughs> yeah. So we kept. So we, he would always compliment my like my lady stuff, and so we were like, we would always make jokes about that. mucus when you're it's, arguing. It's with... the stuff that basically like the sperm needs to swim. Yeah. And then you have the mucus? Yeah, I've got the yeah, mucus. And I've got really good mucus. Yeah. <laughs> the when you argue with Robbie, my the mucus is so good. Is yeah. it mucus, mucus queen of your, queens? Is it the same mucus as your nose? Yes, yeah, it actually, it's boogers. No, it actually, it like you can actually well, why, take your right. next to why, help your lady mucus. It's all the same juices flowing. It's all yeah, the same Yeah, if it wasn't the same, it would have a different of, name, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's mucus. I mean, it's not fucking, I, you know. Well, if actually, I hear the word mucus one more time, uh, I'm going to I didn't, do I didn't know mucus was a part of uh, sex. I didn't know. I thought mucus was its was like neck up. Girls never cried in front of you? Pardon me? Girls never cried in front of you? Mm, I, I guess so. They have. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. She's never cried out of her vagina for years? No, Did you say that never. Robbie had to be on hormones? Yeah, he had to take some hormones. He actually wow. took a hormone that ladies sometimes take to rev up his like balls and sperm to like try to get him to like move around a bit because he didn't have a lot of movement. He didn't like I said his his swimmers are just like real fucking lazy. Yeah, he is, is like, he is stale on stage. He goes like very quiet and about, you know. Uh, imagine Robbie on stage as a sperm, <laughs> just leaning up against the wall. Same energy, <laughs> just sperms leaning up against the wall. Being great like, jokes though. Great jokes. Great, great jokes. Writers. What, what was it? I mean, you need Pavone sperm. That's what you need. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guarantee you. Bouncing. Around. Around. The thing they'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're flying off the microscope. Whoa, get yeah. back He's in like, here, boys. Get them all. Got leashes on all of them. Did your sperm just pirouette? Yeah. Um, <laughs> tail in the air? Uh, so wait a minute. You you look under... I, I, I think Robbie, because we, you know, I don't know. People don't know Robbie. We know Robbie. He's a very mature person. So sperm under a microscope... That means bald. <laughs> sperm under microscope it's on some sort of projector or a, you it's, know no, it's just on the on the peach like on it's the in four so you look um, so you look in like, yeah, you, like it's not just, like no no he TV? had me just look in they play, okay they play in the lobby yeah but did robbie look in yeah we all looked at the sperm so you look in and then he says you know there's not two like how does he break the news that your sperm's well, no, not it, active it, it was getting but it, well, he, he goes like this he goes hey. well he so he didn't well the first well, he could, you have to go to. He, he went in and went. He just pulled his shirt and went. Oi. Yeah. Uh, the top ten reasons you're not gonna have a baby. Yeah. Number ten. One that's guy. Guy. Robbie. Hey. <laughs> Got any gum? Uh, uh, top ten reasons. Number nine. The good news is you have great mucus. Number eight. We... <laughs> Doc, are the cue cards and necessary? Then, Who knows? The number, one, the number one reason you're not gonna have a baby. Your husband doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> what did Rob? But like, if someone told me my sperm wasn't well, active, I would I thing. would be like, I, I, I would die of laughter. At this age, <laughs> at all of you with women friends, all of you should go get a semen analysis just to see where you're it's at. Anything just to go jerk That's off right. in a in a hotel in a, I tell in you a hospital done, huh? room. Semen nothing, analysis. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Semen analysis. Where do you go for those? Hey, uh, to a doctor. Fan to duel. A, uh, <laughs> to a dick. A you got you to you're under two for the baby. A dick doctor. A dick doc. I yeah. guess maybe that's something we yeah. could do for but the also, Patreon. They'll do it like uh, at like a, you know, if you if idea. you end up do with a sperm oh, count analysis. The three of us who's got the best swimmers. Absolutely. 
and then you bet on it because you're gambling. Oh my god! Come on, I think what? I would win that wow. because, because there's three categories: there's morphology, there's motility, and there's uh, like morphology. numbers. Morphology. So morphology means because this is because we had morphology oh. problems too. So that's we could do a parlay. Like two heads or two <laughs> tails or tails. Come, that's what. That's when their shape is all fucking. Like, <laughs> so, I, would have a, I would have a two tail guy. Mine's got two assholes. Yeah. For that sure. doesn't make it better. That yeah. makes it worse, guys. I know, you good. want one tail and one head. Yeah, I know. You want one head, one tail. You don't want a double tail, you double head. What if you want a chameleon? <laughs> you know, buddy, you're not gonna find fucking webbed fingers in there. They're just gonna I'd make be that bad. Kind of swimmer though, right away. Olympic gold, webbed fingers. Yeah, let's go. So wait a minute. Wait, can you explain to us what so the um, morphology is? Shape. Okay, so motility it's, is how much it's moving. Okay. okay, and then there's like actual like count. So like the oh. amount like, of yeah yeah okay so, oh wow so, so like there's percentages and there's actual numbers so what it looks like how how much movement it has and the amount of it mm -hmm. I say so we add we I say we add a, a category to this is who gets done first oh, so when we're time. going to get tested we get whoever the first one back in the lobby wins is I don't there want that pressure. is there porn <laughs> that's what I'm saying it's yeah a, there usually, is porn yeah, yeah you got to I could do it on imagination so I'm good he does an imagination it's crazy yeah he's like I'm not touching the remote in the <laughs> he's not talking about the jack off. Why didn't he bring his phone? Thank you. He'd bring his phone with him. He's fine. He just thinks in my nipples and stuff. So that's it. You, I don't know what he thinks. You of. He probably in, doesn't think of me at all. You go in maybe there. That's why, maybe that's why he's not having kids. <laughs> you go this in. This whole time he thought he had a little sperm yeah. yeah. he's like, he's like, no, you're good. He's just throwing it over his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, I guess you can't have kids. Oh, What's no. that? Oh, that, that one little hair. About, but I love it's it. Very quick. <laughs> you know that baby comes out with a just nose first and just nose, nose, nose. You know it's Robbie's. Oh yeah. Just old pointy head coming right at you. I'll know it's Robbie's baby if it comes out just not crying, just looking around like, so this is it? Yeah. <laughs> just completely unimpressed. So his, all. so Robbie's sperm was like, uh, sort of like him as a human? Kind no. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. Even I know that's not, it's just little, no. it's like little tadpoles. You cannot, you can't see no, their No, his ears. attitude. Yes. 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 The sperm were. Low. I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, yeah, it's exactly what it means. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Right? Um. But but we. So think... mine would be upset with the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your sperm would all be in the corner just fighting each other. Yeah. Um. You put Favo and my sperm next to each other. We're arguing about sports. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> but we think Robbie's maybe had some some issues because when he was younger, you know, he taught um, martial arts and he got kicked in the balls when he was because this can all fucking affect you. So he got kicked in the balls when he was younger and his nuts like swelled up completely and then kind of came back. So they still are pretty low hanging. So we think maybe that could have like that really could have affected him when he was young. Baths can affect. So he's taking a bath tonight since, since he was able to get his sperm out because you can't have you're not supposed to have hot balls. So like your computers on your laps, don't do that. I put a pillow up. Put a, does that help? Oh, pillow help? Put, put a pillow in between your yeah, balls in there. Doing that for I years. would say when you can try to get I They've get the phone out bath? of the front of your pocket. I think you're frying your balls with the phones in the front of your I, pocket. I'm with you. Okay. Um, and then yeah, not too many hot tubs. You're supposed to be wearing boxers. But Is I Mountain know Dew a thing? I remember back in the day, oh, Mountain Dew. Green dye, green dye, probably. Should we do ice I heard, I heard, I heard drugs is a thing. Cocaine is a thing. That's what oh, I heard. Oh yeah, all it's of it. Good. Everything. No, no. <laughs> no. Every. Listen, what I'm found out is everything that anybody does affects fertility. Every single fucking thing affects your sperm, and every single fucking thing is, uh, affects the eggs and stuff like that. So there's no winning unless you literally have never touched plastic. You uh, have never eaten like certain. Like it's just it's like you've never used perfume. You've never lit a candle. You've never used anything scented in your life. You've only used natural. You've never dyed your hair. Like. Everything affects it. You've never put on nail polish. Do you You've find never sat in a hot tub? Oh, that's tough. How do these meth heads have kids then? Seriously, I am. It's it's uh, crazy. It's upsetting. How, there's se seven billion people in the world. How the hell? I know. How the hell does it keep? How does it keep happening? If it's so hard, though, isn't it fucked up? Yeah. Here's wow. the thing: is that I think there's like I think I read a stat. It's like it's like eighteen to. It's like 18% of people have a hard time with it. But it's a lot though. More people now since everybody since we're all waiting to get pregnant. We're all like right. people are getting pregnant later and then also because now there's all these things with all the hormones in our food with all the plastic is every so is that in everything. Number's going up. It's all affecting you gotta stop everything. Gotta stop eating wheat thins. It's got it's got a weird chemical they put in the bag. I heard that BHT. Don't do it. Oh yeah, all the there's uh, yeah. Is there any societal to, things? Eat out of glass when you can. Like, is there? Have you had any kickback? <laughs> and the reason I'm asking this question Eat is because we asked. This I guy. asked. Ask uh, a Reddit thread called Ask Men. What What's the 
Has anyone dealt with any guys in here have ever dealt with infertility, like mm -hmm. IVF and infertility stuff? And mm -hmm. this one guy said this is the most asinine thing I've ever heard. Everyone was really positive or like had real experience. This this prick goes, don't guy. don't do it. You end up with a test tube Franken baby, which is real shitty. And my yeah, my that guy's unvaccinated. That guy's <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And everyone else came after him because he's a prick. But. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, come over here, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Come over here, little guy. That makes me wonder. <laughs> I thought you were pointing at me like you, you made the comment. Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> but is there, have you gotten any like weird feedback from or like responses from family or friends or anything that are like, uh, test tube baby? Like, is that still a stigma? Because I don't feel like no, that really is. They don't anymore. call them test tube babies. No, yeah, anymore. no one's going to know. Like, you don't, well, no, when you're you very, a, she's very open. No, when you have a kid and you meet someone, like, oh, test tube kid. Like you don't I'm know. About, I'm talking about her now. I mean, I would probably if some. I mean, I like I said, yeah, I am very open about it. So if somebody, I mean, I'm not gonna introduce my kid as like, hi, this is my IVF baby. Yeah. <laughs> this is my baby science maid. Although it is a fucking marvel that they can just make people outside of your bodies and then. That isn't a good good excuse in. though. If your kid like eats sand, like IVF. <laughs> you know? well, That's no, not a very personal. But the yeah. thing is, eat is that sand. literally they have grades for the embryos of like what is like the best and like lower quality. So like I joke with my friend Elena who has two IVF babies and her first kid was like her best quality and he is like a fucking mini politician. Her <laughs> second baby, she had a couple failed. Her second baby is like the fourth best. He thinks he's a bird. Like it's just, <laughs> it's fucking, it's fucking so, oh, so funny. Like we joke about it all the time. What are like, their names? Fletcher and Conrad, they're the best. But like Fle <laughs> Fletcher oh, comes in, he's like, we, we gotta, oh yeah, no, Fletcher. We gotta do something at, with climate change at age and two Conrad's coming in like this question, and Conrad's like I'm laying a name and she's like okay it's hilarious so there's she's actual, going back like, to, she's going back to her, her uh, three years ago all of her, her charges like I wasted that one wasted that one <laughs> <laughs> I think she even said because she had done so many rounds IVF. She's like, I'm pretty sure Conrad was free. <laughs> Holy Obsessed. Shit. That's Obsessed. what happens when they do it for free. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't look at it that They're hard. They're the cutest fucking kids too. But it is funny. Fletcher's like so prim and proper. And he's like, Mom, sit on me and pretend to hatch. <laughs> She's like, I did, and it was very expensive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fletcher's more fun at the party, the other though. Ones are oh, yeah. so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So is, is there anything to, to wrap it up? And we're going to play that game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Play the but game. we're going to play the game. Uh, well, I think we should do this as a, like a secondary thing. Well, right? I, I yeah. don't know. Um, let's wrap this up with, uh, I, I'm curious, like, is there any, if you could give, like, any advice to us as, like, who, who like, me and him have relationships. It's, mm -hmm. I feel like it's slowly getting <laughs> to the point of, yes. we're like, like stop. <laughs> like, you have a relationship. Ask does. him, does he have a relationship? We'll talk about that. <laughs> so, so the Chris next Scopo. logical step is like marriage, babies, etc. How can we be better as guys towards the women in our lives? Quick comedy. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good start. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> no, no, no. They they knew you as comic. You know, that's that's this is your, that's part of the deal. I think if you date a comic, it's like. But what as like through part. the but pregnancy process, like what, what well, first, any advice you can give us? Would I think be if greatly both of you guys, as your women are, I think both of your women are in their thirties, right? Mm. I mean, if you guys even think this is a possibility, just go get stuff checked out now. It's easy for you guys to get your semen checked out. And it's actually fairly easy for a woman to just get her ovarian reserves checked out. It's just, you go in after your period, uh, I think after you've ovulated, just so they can see what's going on, just so that you're not trapped or you don't you don't you're not at the, the space when you decide you want to have kids and you have no idea what's going on down there it's just something they don't tell women to do is just go check out stuff so i'd say if it's like have a conversation because again like we have we are we naturally are like tick, 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 tick. so it's like if they want to <laughs> have kids at least go find out some information and so show a good them. idea for be, a guy at any ten in their in and around their 30s to, moving on get your sperm check because there's ways you can fix that and like have you can, a conversation how? if your women have the conversation with your women if they want kids because if they do and you don't let them go we could do that for the patreon you know you know <laughs> what see which one of your girls are more fertile <laughs> <laughs> jesus 200 subscribers you heard it here first people yeah. all right yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah please not that good <laughs> no, i'm kidding i'm kidding um no but just just like i would say like just for any guy like if you know you don't want kids and your girlfriend's in their 30s like break up with them so that they can 
figure it out with somebody who does because it's we we have it we're 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 literally at time we we after 35 our eggs decline so rapidly and sperm too sperm guy your sperm does that i think the quality declines but like 50 year old men can still yeah, get women pregnant but like no, 50 year old women cannot get natural no no yeah that i know but yeah. sperm also declines the, just, this just is a, with factors just do yeah. something now to, this is a dumb yeah. question the the um the amount of um the load how do you say that scientifically the load i think you said it right yeah the load of the sperm i think weight does that become less I, they... only if you use like uh like the finasteride like the the um a lot of the the products that men finasteride yeah, yeah i've heard that yeah a lot of the products that men use for hair loss really affect sperm that's you know, like, in, you're gonna have a great head of hair but you're gonna have say a little, something i'm gonna have hair but not a kid all right you know what <laughs> i don't care i had to get robbie off of that for this it's actually a title x drug when it comes to like um trying to get pregnant it's like very very bad do you think how, that kid wants to be born with no hair head? anyway like he's, this guy's gonna, this guy's got no the hair. best head of hair in a beta beta baby would <laughs> 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 be the worst possible scenario for you <laughs> so you, you think with the you want to play piano you love the Mets since your hair's been growing back you've been you've been squirting a little less I mean I haven't counted but you know now I'm gonna you check get it out lighter loads with that stuff I just thought I was tired no, it's no dude, it's it's that head of hair. I, you know what I can't yeah. I can't jerk off more than one time a day or have sex one time a day. I'm done. I can't. Like I I'm, I'm like I do it one time and I'm like I was like in my head like when I'm having sex with Nam like what are you doing twice and after I'm done I'm like I don't want to see you. <laughs> well, that <laughs> sounds like a different problem than your than your load. Yeah. Uh, the weight I, of your load. Uh, but, get out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so that's great advice. That's practical advice. I like that. That is actually get your good semen advice. samples. Yeah. Get your semen. Have the conversation about. I'm gonna kids do it. And get talk about it. Checked out. Be about it. Be about it. Talk about it. Uh, talk that's about great. it. Be about it. Talk and about you about know it. what? We'll. Uh, yeah. Whatever. I will put a link to your uh, a sperm sperm doctor. No, won't. Locator. I won't. You have <laughs> to check insurance. Words. I'm not, check I'm not giving the richer more things to get rich from. No <laughs> way. I'm going to do a sperm donor here and in Toronto and see if there's... Sperm donor? Are you going to uh, give it away? No, no. He sees which, 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 is, which is better. Oh, no, money. the check. The check. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to the wrong place. Yeah, get and then they're out. like, so you have uh, 78 kids. I'm like, oh, fuck. I just no, want you're, to going, you're going to get sperm. I'm here for sperm donation. How much would you like to give? No, I'm collecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I'd that, like some. I said that today. I'd like to have a kid, but with like one of my lesbian friends. So I don't, the kids aren't always around me. You could do that. You could donate. But you, it I, just but sounds like you want to be a deadbeat dad. No, yeah, I want to be around. Think, like I'll take it to a Met game once in a while. I don't <laughs> think men can donate after a certain age, though. So really, I think that there is a uh, an age. Nobody limit wants thirty-eight year old cum. That's just <laughs> there's no no one's flipping through the book being like fat, bad heart, thirty-eight. This is my guy. There's just, <laughs> this is not a thing. Yeah, but I say fucking fat ass and long hair. Like get this guy. I like fat him. ass, long hair, long Two hair because degrees. he's got terrible. But it's sperm. different if it's like your friends. <laughs> you know, like if you went in with your. I friends. think it would be noble for you to give your lesbian friends. Some, some sperm. I mean, it's probably the only way we're gonna have a kid. So, but they're gonna probably you're gonna probably gonna sign off that you're you're not the dad. No, I'll be like I'll be the dad, but I'm not paying for shit. Buddy, it's not what? The, they're lesbians. They have you're money. Not, you can't. <laughs> <That's your point. laughs> they're smart. Now that Casey told us about the finasteride, you buddy, you're toast, going nowhere. Yeah. Buddy, he's going. He's gonna be you, bald in three weeks. You got yeah. shit jizz. You're done. <laughs> shit jizz. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh, I still have nice hair. When he I'm seems 50. beat up about it. He's yep. Pretty beat up about it. Casey, yeah. anything you want to plug? When's your when's your uh, uh, your special coming out? No anything idea. like that? Okay. Um, okay. We, uh, Same as the baby. Yeah, Check it yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going else? Uh, no, I'm working on a trailer right now. I'm gonna try to shop it around a bit, and we'll see what happens. But I do have a podcast called Shady Shit that comes out every Friday. Um, I was just on it, and he was, and I didn't promote it because I've been really bad at promoting. So I've got to, I've got to actually go back. And I only found it. out it came out because Becca told me. Yeah, no, it came out. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't yeah, promote yours. I had a great time. I didn't pro- you gotta come on. What is it? I know it's your podcast. It's What's crime. it about? It's true crime. Ooh, true crime. Yeah. Um, I got to promote yours. I got to promote Katie Hannigan's. Um, but uh, it's shady shit. Shady and, shit. And it's been fun. What's your social so uh, that when you do K-Space post? Space B. Case Face B. On Instagram and uh, and yeah, but and then I am um, I'm in Chicago uh, at Zany's March third to the fifth. Ooh, Hopefully this maybe, is maybe up pregnant. Then. Oh yeah. 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 No, no, no. 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 Not yet. Because I have to. I, there's a whole other thing. I have to get a small. So give her cocaine. Done. She's down yeah. to do cocaine. <laughs> I'll La- still be partying last, in Chicago. L- last question: If it was, um, if you if you get pregnant, which mm-hmm. I think you are, 
guy or girl what do you want boy or girl you know it's so funny don't give me the healthy stuff no when we had it when we had the boy embryo i was so stoked on a boy and then the minute yeah. we found out that our one healthy embryo was a boy i was like oh fuck i want a girl <laughs> and now and now, I, and now i honestly don't know now i'm i'm leaning more towards girl but like i i love but my nephew's so fucking fun and boy clothes are so like cute and so i don't know i don't know i like my girl name better my but my mom wanted girls really bad, and then when I was born, so she must be super excited about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's pumped. When I yeah. was born, she, uh, she didn't know they didn't know they have a kid, and they go, "It's a boy." She goes, "Check again." <laughs> <laughs> See, I would, I prefer, I think I would like a girl. Girl, yeah, well, boys yeah. like that. Well, Robbie wants a girl. I think women want men because they're like, I know how difficult I am, and you guys want girls because we like, know how disgusting boys are. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get exactly. jacked. On roids, oh, and what? then just anytime her boyfriends come over, just fucking scare the shit out of them. That's what oh, I yeah, want to do. You're real scary, dude. I'm gonna be all fucking like a little pit bull, get a piece of wood and just shatter it over <laughs> my head, and then be like, "Come on in." I'm gonna fucking scare the shit out of them. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for being honest and open with this. Is really it's been really good. I learned yeah. we learned stuff today. Okay, good. Learned a lot about cum. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it would be this much too cum much talk. about cum. I yeah. trashed Robbie it's, a little bit too. I feel bad. Uh, <laughs> he's a lazy this guy's a lazy guy. You try to trash him in front of his not, wife. He, Who it's, cares? it's because he's got kicked in the balls. It had nothing to do with him as a person. Dude, he oh, got okay. you know, hoofed in the donger, bro. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for watching. We're going to play in a minute. So we have another video. Watch that. We're going to play a game.